It is Tuesday, December 19th, as we welcome you to Midland High. It is time for high school boys basketball on MPS TV as the Midland High Gimmicks play host to their crosstown rivals, the H.H. Dow High Chargers. The pet band in the background means that it is basketball season indeed here in mid-Michigan. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper and Tom. Tonight, we've got the first of two meetings between the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers. Both teams looking for identity early in the season. Yeah, this is the time of year where the coaches are searching for not, not only chemistry, but uh, also to see which kind of guys that they can count on at, uh, towards the end of, of each each game. So. Yeah. It's the very early in the season. The Midland High Chemics coming in 1-2. and two. The Dow High Chargers coming in 0-2. Oh and, and right now, let's turn things over to public address announcer Jeff Yoder. Welcome you back into the booth here at Midland High. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, a great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers getting ready for high school basketball. The Chemex and the Chargers. The Midland High Chemex coming in one and two. They're coming off a loss to Rockford. However, Coach Eric Kraus in his 16th year, Tom, said that that loss against Rockford was the best game Midland played all year. Yeah, and, you know, sometimes you just have to tip your hat to a team that's really loaded with talent and just give, give your own players their, their due that they played hard and played well. 
On the other side of the coin, the Dow High Chargers under fourth-year coach Mark Dickerson, who at one time was the JV coach under Eric Krause for the Dow High Chargers, coming in at 0-2, losses to Mount Pleasant and a loss to Beaverton. This is a Dow High team that it's early in the season, but they're really having a hard time getting into a rhythm here early on. Yeah, and I think that uh, it, you, when you have to rely on on a uh, like a Zach Chichester who doesn't bring the ball up to court, uh, it, it's hard to get real comfortable when you've got uh, you know point guards by committee. Now the Midland High Kimmicks in the white uniforms winning the tip-off. Drew Gandy, Mason Pilgrim, Garrett Willis, Henry Kessler, and Isaiah Bridges are the five on the floor for Midland. And Isaiah Bridges able to lay it off the glass for the first basket of the game. The now high chargers, Ben Feitler, Mitchell Hayes, Isaac Molinar, Zach Chichester, and Jacob Stone are the five on the floor for the Dow High Chargers. And it is Chichester, the senior, working the ball. Chichester will put up the shot. It's no good. Rebound by Bridges and a reach in. No, they're going to call it jump ball. Nice job defensively by Molinar. I thought maybe a reach in foul, but instead a jump ball is what is uh, called by the officials. Dow High looking to inbound the ball. And, well, they're having a hard time doing it. Eric Kraus thought that should have been a five-second call on the inbound. Did not get that call. And the tip in, we'll give it to uh, Chichester. Actually, they're going to give it to Hayes officially. And Dow High showing a press early on against the Midland High Kimmich. Tied up just underway. First of two meetings for the Midland High Kimmich. Nearly throwing it away. Had the right person in, in the corner at the right time. Well, we're going to see uh, Midland High looking to Willis uh, to shoot a little bit more than the other players, and I will see Chichester uh, the same way. There's a steal, Dow High. Well, there's a steal right back. Nice job by Zeitler, but Midland High gets it right back. Garrett Willis had 30 points in Midland High's game against Saginaw Heritage. Bridges has the ball knocked away. Nice defense there by Molinar. The forward pass ahead, and Isaac Molinar will lay it in. The junior giving the Chargers a early lead. Mark Dickerson knows that he's got players that have talent. He just doesn't think that everything has gone together the way that it needs to. There's a three-pointer by Garrett Willis, the senior, hitting the three. And remember, the Midland High Kimmicks playing without Martin Money, who is out uh, recovering from a leg injury suffered during football season. Yeah, he'll be out for a little while longer, but uh, Money gives him that steady guard play. There is another money on the Midland High team. There's a freshman by the name of Al. As the Chargers go inside again, Mitchell Hayes back-to-back -back bucket for the Chargers. Dow High with a one-point lead, five and a half to go here in the first quarter. Midland High, Drew Gandy all by himself, can't get the three-pointer to go. Rebound goes to Molinar. Molinar having a great first uh, couple of minutes of this game. Yeah, he's quick. He's a junior. On this Dow High Charger team, seniors and juniors for Mark Dickerson. Isaiah Bridges coming up with a steal. Bridges will get the bucket and the foul. You know, with that steal, he tipped it ahead. I just didn't think there would be enough court left for him to get control of it. And boy, he, he really uh, uh, had some good body language uh, to put the ball up and put it in. Isaiah Bridges will have a chance now for a three-point play. And he does. Midland High leading by two, 5.14 to go, just underway. And so far, this uh, game off to a quick start, back and forth. These two teams battle, and the Chargers turn the ball over. Dow has surprised me about how, how many baskets they're making in heavy traffic. Dow High is going to bring Nick Ferraki into the game. He's a junior. A lot of these Chargers played football. So the Dow High Chargers getting a uh, maybe a little bit of a, a late start to the season. Bridges in the corner feeds it over to Henry Kessler. Kessler unable to get the shot to go. Ball goes out of bounds. And still no indication. Apparently it's going to be Midland High basketball. Yeah. 
I think it was hit out of his hand. Long inbound, almost stolen away. Midland High, Eric Kraus was not happy with the performance of Midland High as the three-pointer falls in by Mason Pilgrim. Eric Kraus was not happy about the performance during the win against Mount Pleasant, but he was very happy with the performance of Midland in the loss against Rockford. And now we're going to have a foul called against Pilgrim that will send the Chargers to the free throw line. Sometimes as a coach, Tom, and you can definitely relate to this, sometimes it's, you know, you, you want to see effort from your players. And if you're playing a team that may not be as strong, and we've got a, a stoppage because Drew Gandy's got a uh, gash on his forearm. But if you, if, if you have a team that is not as strong and you don't play as good and you pick up the win, you may not be as happy as if you play a tough team, play well, but lose. Well, coaches realize that there's a group of guys to his right that want to be in the game. And the guys on the court have to really cherish those minutes that they're there. And if they're not playing hard, they can have a seat behind alongside the coach. You know, that uh, you, you've got to continue to get better because that's what everybody else is doing. They're getting better. Now, Henry Kessler is going to be tended to because uh, not only does he have a gash on his arm, but he also has uh, blood on his jersey. So he is going to uh, have to get a uh, different jersey before he can continue this contest. Al Money checked into the game for the Midland High Chemics, and now it appears as if John White is going to come in as well. But the question is going to be, uh, well, Kessler's out there. They're going to they're going to stop play because there's also some blood on the floor that is going to have to be cleaned up as well. But who was it that got injured? Wasn't that wasn't that Kessler that got? No, no. I, I, it was. Um, uh, was it Pilgrim? It was Pilgrim. You're Four. correct. OK, Pilgrim is the one. Yeah. OK, so Pilgrim is the one that went into the locker room to get a new jersey. Now they're going to clean up uh, the the, uh, the blood. So we got a little bit of a delay stopping the uh, okay. clock with 434 to go. It's a free timeout in the first quarter. Yeah, definitely a <laughs> chance for uh, teams to talk things over. So while we have a chance, let's let you know dates and times that you can watch this broadcast here on MCTV Wednesday. The broadcast will be on Wednesday, December 20th, Thursday, December 21st, Friday, December 22nd, 8 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock at night. Your chance to uh, watch this contest on MCTV Channel 189 on Charter Communications, also available on Channel 99. If you have AT&T Uverse, it will also be available on the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel in high definition, and that will be uh, available coming up uh, probably after the start of the year. So Mason Pilgrim is now going to wear number 40. There's Eric Krause talking. <laughs> Well, talking to 22, who's now 22? I think a couple of different players ended up with blood on their jersey. Oh, did so, they? Okay. So we're going to have to try to get everything sorted out. Well, that would have been easy. Um, Pilgrim was four, make him 40. But we know that change was made. What I do not know is uh, who is now wearing 22 and what uniform Kessler is wearing. Uh, is that Kessler underneath the basket? No, that is, uh, that is Pilgrim underneath the basket. That's Pilgrim, okay. So we'll get things sorted out. Everything coming to a stop, and we had a great back and forth game for the first uh, three and a half minutes of, of the first quarter. Everything was going back and forth. That's the one that I need to find out who that is. And it, uh, is that Drew Gandy? It could be. I I think it is. I think you are correct. I believe you are right. I believe Drew Gandy. There's a there's the trainer, not only training, not only bandaging up people, but also cleaning up uh, all the blood off the floor. I think Garrett Willis may have had no Willis is still wearing. 32. So I, I think you're right. I think Drew Gandy is now 22. Mason Pilgrim is now 40. All because of a, a little cut on, on the arm. 
Now, will they keep the, our automatic scoreboard? Has that been adjusted? I believe that uh, they are working on adjusting that as we okay. speak. So All right. that, may, that may take a, a little bit of time to adjust uh, to adjust the, the scoreboard. Yep. So we come to a stop here with the Kimmicks battling the Chargers on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. Jason Harper, Tom Bell. We've got a great crew of staff and volunteers that are uh, on hand for the, uh, the contest here tonight. Of course, this game could not be brought to you without the help of the MCTV staff and volunteers. If you'd like to become a volunteer, we'll tell you how to do so. Call that phone number on your screen, 837-3474. That is how you become an MCTV volunteer. You take a little bit of an orientation. You pay a very uh, nominal uh, fee for a year of access, and you can become involved in production such as this or any production that you may uh, choose to do so. Again, that phone number, 837-3474. You can also like us on Facebook or check out the uh, City of Midland website and follow the links. All different ways that you can become involved here at MCTV. Well, we have uh, the trainer is wiping up the floor, and I don't know how many times up and down the court uh, that we, we had Pilgrim bleeding on the floor because he was going in a lot of different directions, zigzagging, and the official was pointing down and says, here's another one, here's another one. Uh, may have, so may have been just easier to bring out the uh, the broom or the mops and just uh, just bring the zamboni in here. There you know? go. That's <laughs> that's what we need. Yeah. Well, I think everything has been uh, worked out. I think we are ready to uh, to continue the game. Although I'm not sure which five are going to be on the floor for the for the Midland High gimmick. So now well, they they found more blood. Well, the, the game, Tom, was off to a, uh, a great start. Back and forth basketball. Both teams playing very well for the first three and a half minutes of this game. And apparently someone was getting really tired, so they bit <laughs> someone or scratched someone and created a nice timeout here. You know? Now, I believe they may have washed the blood quickly out of the, uh, out of the jerseys of the... Uh, of... Uh, Gandy and Pilgrim. Okay, so hopefully they'll so get they, back to their original numbers. So they they may come come back in. Here we are, Jason Harper, Tom Bell, and uh, you know things like you, you never like delays. Whether you know this wasn't an injury, although um, you know Mason Pilgrim's got a nice little uh, you know gash on his arm, but it's not anything that's going to keep him from from playing basketball. But pretty long delay for a very uh, nominal injury. It lasted a long time on the court. I mean, I, I'm sure they were up and down the court a couple of times. Well, here we go. We're ready to resume play. And the Dow High Chargers on the free throw line after uh, after all of that. Yeah. <laughs> we've got Isaac Molinar on the free throw line. And Molinar has had a great game for the Chargers. And he hits both of the free throws. Four of the eight points for Dow High coming at the hands of Molinar and the Chargers a little bit of a press. One of the things that Mark Dickerson wants the Dow High Chargers to do is play a little bit tougher basketball than what, what they have done in the first two games of the season. He, he wants them to be tougher, maybe a little more scrappier on the floor. Yeah, they, they've got to find some, uh, some offensive uh, momentum, uh, just not getting enough points from enough players. And I can tell you that for Dow to stay in this game, Chichester's got to have a big scoring night. That's just uh, a feeling that I've got at this point. Uh, if he, he doesn't get 20, Dow's not going to win this game. Mitchell Hayes working over to Nick Soraki. Now feeds it to Molinar. Molinar will work it back out to Hayes. Hayes, a couple of dribbles. Chichester has it now. Chichester drives then. He's being double teamed. And Foul is going to be called on the floor. The second foul called against Midland High. Kimmicks are going to bring Drew Gandy back into the game, replacing Trey Childry, who was in 
while Gandhi got blood off of his uniform. Gandhi now wearing number 22. Chichester gets the inbound pass, and the battle for the basketball is going to be won by the Dow High Chargers. Strong rebound there. Soraki on the far side, tried to go inside. It goes out of bounds, last touched by the Chargers. And now Midland High is going to bring Henry Kessler into the game. We have yet to see Mason Pilgrim return. He is uh, maybe ba getting bandaged up. Yeah, they may have to take some time to get the bleeding to stop. 11 to 8 in favor of the Midland High Kimmix. Kimmix working the ball on the far side. A couple of dribbles by Mitchell, or excuse me, by Al Money. Al Money is the freshman, younger brother of Martin Money, who is out with a leg injury. Isaiah Bridges can't get the three point shot to go. Chargers will get the rebound. Al Money is just a freshman, has a lot of the same qualities that his older brother has. Yeah, looks a lot, lot like. Uh... Three pointer by Stone is no good. The junior missing his first shot attempt for the Chargers. Midland High working the basketball around the perimeter. Couple of dribbles on the far side by Drew Gandy. Works it over to Kessler. Kessler thought about the three, goes inside to Bridges. Bridges with a nice turn move and lays it in. Isaiah Bridges with the bucket. Bridges has got seven points early on for Midland. That looked a lot like Nick Ward for the Spartans. Early shot by the Chargers, no good. Midland will come back in the other direction. Gandy will feed it. Over to Bridges. Bridges now feeding it now to Al Money. Money's three-point shot is no good. Rebound will be controlled by the Chargers. Two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Midland High leading 13 to 8. Chargers on the far side. Stone taking a couple of dribbles into the paint, and Stone's fadeaway shot is no good. Rebound by Garrett Willis. Well, the top scorers, Chichester and Willis, have been fairly quiet so far. Gandy feeds it back out. Now Bunny with the ball goes back to Gandy. Gandy is one of the seniors on this Midland High team. The Kimmicks have a mix of juniors and seniors. Dow High juniors and seniors as well. One freshman, that's Al Money. Isaiah Bridges will feed it back. And we're going to have a kick, uh, we're going to have a foul call. Is that on Chichester? Now yeah, we'll wait to find out. It is on Chichester, which is the second one on Chichester. Meanwhile, John White has entered the game for the first time for Midland, and the Chargers are going to bring uh, Thomas Oakley into the game as well. Chichester with two early fouls, not something that will uh, please Mark Dickerson. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to help uh, Dow at this point. Uh, they've got to have him on the court. They may try to put him in before half just to keep the game close. Three-point shot, no good. Chargers had the rebound and then a foul by John White. That's not what Eric Kraus wants. You bring White into the game and he makes a foul three quarters of a length of the basketball court away. You're not really an offensive threat back there. <laughs> yeah. And that is uh, quickly the second foul on White. There's a nice steal by Al Money. Money able to gain control of it, feeds it ahead to Gandy. Gandy goes back inside to Kessler, who can't get the bunny to fall. And the Dow High Chargers will get the rebound under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Stolen away by Midland High. Gandy will come back the other direction. He won't lay it in. No foul call. Now the Chargers will come back the other way. 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Molinar loses the ball underneath. Working it ahead. Isaiah Bridges all by himself. The bucket and the foul. That 
was a lot of action in a very short amount of time, a lot of physical action in a short amount of time, and now Isaiah Bridges has a chance for a three-point play. Well, Dow had five on three coming down here because two Midland players had fallen on each other, and then there was the steal, and all of a sudden Midland had a player to receive the ball, which was Isaiah Bridges, and uh, put the ball up. I was hoping he would not get undercut because sometimes players uh, unbeknownst uh, just try to, to make a good defensive play and, and, and things don't end well. Nathan Pilgrim has checked back into the game for Midland High. Isaiah Bridges hitting the three-point play the hard way and Trey Childry has checked in for the Kimmich. Eight-point Midland High lead, 25 seconds to go here in the first quarter. This has been a long quarter. I don't know why. Well, we had that long, <laughs> long delay that... Uh, yeah. Little housekeeping delay. Great time to get in our sponsors if we, you know, head sponsors. Thomas Oakley gets his first basket of the game, tips it in. Chargers showing up press, final second of the first quarter will come to an end. And the Midland High Kimmich leading Dow High 16 to 10 at the end of the first quarter in a back and forth battle. Both teams having, uh, you know, a chance to have the lead, although the Chargers very briefly, but, you know, the first quarter coming to an end time, I think both coaches have to be, you know, pretty satisfied with what we saw in the first eight minutes. Yeah, I think that uh, Midland High has got, got to look to, to Garrett Willis. He's got to at least touch the ball uh, on a lot of the, uh, uh, the, the offensive trips down the court. Uh, they're, they're just not, not finding him. And maybe he's going to run some plays for, for them uh, to, to get open on the side, maybe drive to the basket. He is an outstanding offensive player. And for, uh, for, for Dow High, uh, I think that Mark Dickerson's got to decide when does he try to put uh, Chichester back in. Uh, offensively, Dow High really doesn't have a, a focus. Uh, I think their players are playing hard and they're, they're getting some scrappy shots at the basket and uh, they're keeping this within six. But uh, Chichester can be the difference maker. Well, it is very early in the season. This is only the third game for Dow High, the fourth game for Midland High. So, you know, right now, Mark Dickerson still trying to figure out what five, you know, what is the team going to consist of? We're still in the, yeah. you know, more or less the preseason mode, the, the feeling out process at this point of the game. So, you know, Dow High may be looking for an identity, but we are very early in the season. And this is not a league game. I mean, uh, uh, both teams are not looking at state rankings, at least not now. But, uh, you know, now is the time to experiment a little bit. The Midland High Kimmich with the basketball as the second quarter is underway. Three-point shot taken, counted. Isaiah Bridges hitting the three for the Midland High Kimmich. Biggest lead of the game for Midland High. They moved the ball very well on that, that possession. Chargers on the far side. Couple of dribbles by Oakley. Feeds it up over to Ben Feitler. Feitler feeds it back to Oakley. Oakley will go to Chichester. You wanted to know when Chichester would be back in the game? The answer is sooner than later. And Chichester unable to get the shot to fall through. And will, will Midland try to expose that? Going inside, ill-advised pass there by the Midland High Kimmich, so the Chargers will come back the other direction. Dow High working the ball to Chichester. Chichester with a bounce pass, feeding it towards the baseline, back out to the top of the key. We're going to have a travel call going against uh, Nick Siraki. Best moves are illegal, you know. That's what I've been told. <laughs> Many, many times. But it doesn't uh, hold water in the NBA. They, they, they play Nothing, on. Nothing's illegal in the NBA. They play on, yes. That's why I don't watch the NBA. Underneath, and the ball is loose out of bounds. It's going to maintain Midland High basketball. Enjoy college basketball, although college is becoming more like you know, the NBA developmental league. And really love high school basketball, but the NBA does nothing for me. College, they call travel. I, I like that. Well, it depends on the team. 
Well, okay. <laughs> We're getting off subject now. <laughs> That's true. Three point shot, no good. Rebound by Childry. Outlets it back over to Pilgrim. Pilgrim will go back inside. Now the Dow High Chargers work in the uh, basketball. Pull up for the jump shot. No good by Molinar. Rebound and a foul going to be called. He'll be on the floor. Fourth foul of the game against the Midland High Kimmick. Waiting to see who got called. It's going to be uh, Bridges. Only the first one on Bridges. Garrett Willis will check back into the game for Midland. Inbound pass. Six minutes to go in the first half. Midland up by nine. Siraki feeds it over to Zeitler. Back to Chichester. Chichester from the elbow. His shot may have been partially blocked, and now we've got a foul called during the rebound that is going to go against the Chargers. No, uh, they, they got a piece of Chichester's elbow, but uh, reps aren't going to see everything. I believe Chichester may be the only starter for the Dow High Chargers that did not play football. Oh, good observation. Double team into the corner. Did it work? Now Midland's going to keep the ball. And Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. 5.51 to go in the second quarter. Nine-point Midland high lead. Eric Krause in his 16th year as the varsity coach for the Midland High Kimmicks, and he has had some uh, tremendous seasons. He's, uh, he's one of the most respected coaches in the area for a long time. Mark Dickerson was his assistant coach before Dickerson took the job at Dow High. But a man that knows the X's and the O's is uh, happened to be Eric Kraut. He's fascinating to talk to. He's got a real feel for the game, a real passion. Uh, he tells it like it is. He says, you know, the, these are the problems my team has. This is how we're going to correct them. But uh, I think we're, we're getting uh, break the press uh, 101 right now. I think the first thing you got to uh, instill in your players is stay out of the corner. Exactly. Okay? If you're in the corner, you help the end line become two other players that are going to apply pressure because uh, if you step on the line, it's a turnover. Work the ball into the middle and come up the side. Like a freeze frame right there. I wonder how long uh, that young uh, gentleman can hold that pose. I don't know, but... Uh... I think he's getting tired. He's not cracking yet. What is that? That was almost like a mannequin challenge right there. <laughs> the guy behind him was ordering two pieces of pizza, I think. Job well done. There's a steal. Chichester comes up with the ball from the free throw line. Chichester unable to get the shot to go. Willis will get the rebound for the middle and high Kimmich. Bridges has the ball knocked away. Kimmich will keep possession. Well, it's been a fast-paced uh, game. Um, I wouldn't say it's been a pretty game yet, but uh, uh, I think that uh, as soon as we can get into an offensive rhythm, I think that might change. Well, we had a pretty good rhythm, pretty good back-and-forth rhythm going until the, uh, the long delay. Oh. Midland High goes inside to Bridges, feed it off the glass. Bridges with the bucket for the Kimmicks. 15 points here in the first half for Isaiah Bridges. He's got 15 of Midland High's 21 points. And a foul will be called against the Kimmicks. And his shots have been good ones. You know, uh, he's had the opportunity to score. Now the foul is going to be against Kessler, only his first. John White is going to check into the game, replacing Garrett Willis, who, as you mentioned, has been relatively quiet. I'm wondering if Willis is under the weather a little bit. They're, they're resting him periodically. I don't know. Dow high into the paint. Nice move. Everything but the bucket by Oakley. Kemmicks will come back the other direction. Kessler in the corner for Midland High. Feeds it around. 
White with the ball over to Bridges. Bridges, couple of dribbles. Now back to Kessler. Thought about the three. Now he does launch the three. Shot is no good. Rebound by Mitchell Hayes. He was fading to the right just a little bit, and that's where the shot went. Molinar, count the bucket. Isaac Molinar, the junior, six points for the Dow High Chargers. John White on a fast break for a midland. Passes behind him, goes back to Bridges. Ty Chester with the block from behind. That was a snuff. <laughs> Midland High, however, able to recover. They've got the basketball driving into the paint, and we're going to have a travel. No, we got a foul or a travel. We've got a foul. Yep. I thought initially the uh, the referee started to indicate that a, a travel, but changed his mind. The foul is going to be on Mitchell Hayes, and we've got a timeout on the floor with 4.12 to go here in the second quarter. Midland High is going to call their second timeout of the game with a 21 to 12 lead. Well, you know that Mark D Dickerson is concerned that the game is going to get out of hand because he's taking a real risk having Ch Chichester in the game. Yeah, Chichester hasn't found his range yet, but uh, having two fouls in the first, first half, uh, you really have to be careful because it's really going to handcuff you in the second half if he's got three or uh, hopefully not four fouls uh, at that stage of the game. Take a look at Mark Dickerson, a fourth-year coach, and Eric Krause on the other side for the uh, for the Midland High Gimmicks. 21 to 12 in favor of Midland High High School basketball, boys and girls basketball airing this weekend here on MPS TV, and of course in the month of January we hit the mats. High school wrestling will be coming your way in January, and we've got uh, more basketball along with ice hockey coming your way in February. This is an important time for Dow. Uh, Midland can go kind of for the juggler and really uh, start to increase the the uh, the advantage here. Uh, they're up by nine, and Dow's not really found much offense in the last couple minutes. Midland High with the basketball and the lead. Just under four minutes to go in the first half. Al Money will feed it over to John White. Now giving it over to Drew Candy. Bridges goes inside to White. White with a nice move to his right, and White will get the bucket to go for the Kimmich. 11 point Midland High lead. Three and a half. Three pointer launched up by Jacob Stone. He is 0 for 2 from the three point distance. Dow needs to stop here. It's 23 12. Drew Gandy getting over the line. Isaiah Bridges spins, fires, and unable to get the shot to go. Mitchell Hayes will bring the ball forward to the now high charger. Stone now goes back over to Hayes, feeding it back on the far side. Now top of the key, Reed Renicky, who checked into the game during that last time out on the floor for the now high chargers. He's a senior coming off the bench and a fadeaway shot by Molinar. He's got eight of Dow High's 14 points. Now he's having a good game. Midland High, bounce pass inside to White, feeds it back up over to Gandy. Three-pointer is no good. Molinar will bring down the rebound. He's just a junior, is Isaac. End of the paint, now back out. Mitchell Hayes from just inside the free throw line, no good. Bridges will get the rebound for Midland. Bridges feeds to White, who can't get the layup to go, but Bridges follows it nicely, and Isaiah Bridges will get the bucket. How about that? 17 points in the first half for Isaiah Bridges. Bridges has been, obviously, the difference here. Foul is going to be called as Molinar tried to take it to the hoop. It's Isaiah Bridges, 17, Dow, 14. The foul is going to be the sixth one on Midland, so the Chargers will be shooting the remainder of the half. It's also the second foul on Drew Gandy. But Molinar unable to get the first free throw to fall. Garrett Willis is going to check back into the game. So is Mason Dobro. Meanwhile, 
Zach Chichester is back in for the Dow High Chargers. Saw moments ago the uh, the new scoreboard, about a year old, maybe two years is the, the scoreboard. A lot of information provided to the fans on that scoreboard. I like when it blinks, you know, when that's the spot where it is changed. Midland High up by 10, two minutes to go in the second quarter. White hands the ball off to Al Money. Now Garrett Willis taking a couple of dribbles for the Kimmicks. Now High bringing up a little bit of pressure defensively as the bounce pass goes to White on the baseline. Double team, but able to work it back out. The Kimmicks keeping the possession alive and a reach in foul is going to be called against the Chargers. Dow High playing good defense. I'm not sure they needed to reach in there. No, no, they, they really didn't. Uh, uh, Mid Midland High just didn't seem to put a head up to look at the basket for a good portion of that possession. Second foul on Mitchell Hayes. Both teams in the bonus for the last 90 seconds of the half. Al Money. Travel. travel. Thought about the three-pointer and that hesitation led to the uh, travel. Yeah. That'll happen. He's just a freshman. Midland High will bring Isaiah Bridges back into the game. Eric Krause has had a, a lot of substitutions, making sure his players uh, stay well rested. Yeah, and they don't seem to be communication uh, substitutions where he needs to talk to somebody. He's actually just giving them a rest. Bridges nearly had a steal. Chargers able to recover. Molinar with the ball now to Chichester. Works it over on the far side to Renneke. Renneke will go back to Oakley. Oakley feeds it over to Hayes. Hayes, baseline move, nice drive. He can't get the bucket to go. But Mitchell Hayes will go to the free throw line for the Chargers. That may be on Bridges, I think. But... And it is. That is the second one on Bridges. Under a minute to play here in the second quarter. Be a good time to put Bridges on the bench because you can get a real scrappy foul right before the half. I'm sorry, go Hayes ahead. gets the first free throw to fall in. Try Childry will check back in for the Midland High gimmick. All but three of the eligible Midland High players have entered this game for the Kimmicks. Midland playing without Martin Money. He suffered a leg injury during football season and is hopeful to return sometime this year, but a timeline has not been established. Ball on the ground. Chargers will have the ball. 35 seconds to go in the second quarter. Reed Renneke will feed it back up. Chargers working around a Mitchell Hayes. Hayes drives in. Can't get the bucket to go. Rebound by Kessler. Ball knocked away. Still loose. Kessler will come up with it. 20 seconds to play in the second quarter. Driving in nicely for Midland. Al, excuse me, that is uh, Mason Pilgrim with the bucket for the Kimmicks. Nice pass by the freshman Al Money. Foul will be called, sending Hayes to the free throw line. And Money with the pass, Pilgrim with the bucket. Kimmicks leading by 11 with eight seconds to go as the Chargers go to the free throw line. That cross court pass reminded me of the pass to Jimmy Chitwood in Hoosiers. <laughs> <laughs> Dow High bringing in some substitution. Sam Drake will enter the game. Jacob Stone also comes back in for Dow High. Chichester getting a breather, as is Seitler. Free throw falls for Mitchell Hayes. He has seven. Midland High quickly across the court. 
looking for a shot before the buzzer sounds. Clock down to two, one. They've got to hurry, and they are not going to get a shot. Dow High defense preventing Midland High from scoring here late in the second quarter. But it is the Midland High Chemics that have built a lead 27 to 18 over the Dow High Chargers. And uh, Tom, your thoughts on the first 16 minutes of basketball? Uh, Isaiah Bridges. For, for, for Midland High. He has really been the difference maker. That's uh, uh, number 44 on the left side uh, of your yeah, screen. Yeah, the one with the big numbers, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he he hit a three. Uh, really didn't take, he may have taken one bad shot in the whole first half, probably rushed it because he was feeling, you know, uh, feeling like this could be the game of his lifetime. But uh, he's, he, he's got to be a team player. And for, for, for Dow High, they're staying in it, sort of but they just have to get more offense. A lot of basketball left to be played in the first of two meetings here on MPS TV. We are at halftime. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast as much as we are enjoying bringing it to you. High school basketball brought to you by an MCTV crew of staff and volunteers. At the half, it is the Midland High Chemics 27, the Dow High Chargers 18, the third quarter right around the corner. back at Midland High. It's the Kimmicks. It's the Chargers. It's boys basketball here on MPS TV. Glad you could be with us. We are at halftime with the Midland High Kimmicks on top of the Dow High Chargers 27-18. Yet the Midland High Kimmicks have yet to emerge from the locker room as we welcome you into the broadcast booth. That is the legendary Tom Bell. My name is Jason <laughs> Harper. And, uh, you know, Tom, we've got uh, you know, our first half. One of the keys that we noticed during our halftime break of the fact that Zach Chichester is scoreless and that does not happen very often. No, I mean, he, he's a, one of those guys that, that, that can score in his sleep, but uh, right now, Dow High or, or Midland High is really uh, you know, they're double teaming him c coming into the lane. Uh, they're just making uh, it kind of difficult for him to get loose. Well, the horn has sounded, but the Midland High Kimmicks are just now emerging from the locker room, and I've got to wonder if uh, how lenient the officials are going to be here. It's called gamesmanship. Gamesmanship. They wanted to wait for, you know, have everybody wait for them. All right. That'll be interesting to see because... Uh, yeah. A, a lot of the times, rules that are in the rule book aren't necessarily, you know, you, you want equal play, but I think the starters are out on the floor for the Midland High Chemics, and Mark Dickerson may be talking to the officials that, uh, you know, to find out exactly what is going to be allowed and what is not going to be allowed. Because the, the Midland High Chemics did not emerge from the locker room, but they were not assessed to technical, and they have been allowed to have their starters on the floor. So. And it's five on five, so everybody's let it go. happy. Okay, here we go. Zach Chichester losing his handle on the ball. It ends up in the scorer's table. Midland High with the lead. Tom, let's put your coaching cap on. If you are Mark Dickerson in the Dow High Chargers, what do you have to do to uh, overcome this deficit? You got to change tempo, I think. Uh, I think you, you, I think we're going to see them press a bit. Uh, you know, I, I, they pressed somewhat in the first half, uh, got a little bit out of it, not a lot. But uh, Midland High has a chance to just kind of uh, find their open shots, like uh, it's going to be a long night. Drew Gandy, three-pointer for the Midland High Kimmicks, biggest lead of the game for Midland. If you're Eric Krause, you did a lot of talking at halftime. What were you talking about? Uh, do, don't sell out to uh, the, the first sort of shot. Underneath, Dow High, Nick Zaraki, his first basket of the game. 
So we are seeing a bit of some pressure. Going inside of Bridges, who had a tremendous first half and unable to get the shot to go. Rebound by Mitchell Hayes and a tie up and a jump ball call. Just underway here in the third quarter, 10 point Midland High lead. Isaiah Bridges has got a really quick second jump. Uh, I think that that's going to uh, fend well for him throughout this season. Midland High inbounding the ball. Isaiah Bridges will get it back for the Kimmicks. Working around now to Mason Pilgrim, who is wearing number 40 as opposed to his usual number four because he got a uh, cut on his forearm early in the game and blood on the uniform. He had to change jerseys and there was blood on Drew Gandy's uniform. He had to change jerseys. Jump shot inside the paint by Willis is no good, but the tip end does go in. The battle for the rebound won by Midland High and by Gandy. Nice tip. All five of Gandy's points coming in the third quarter. Dow High looking to go inside and does to Soraki. And the turnaround shot is good for the Dow High Chargers. All of Soraki's uh, baskets are in the third quarter as well. And nearly stolen away. Numbers advantage for a mid-lead underneath. Count the bucket for Garrett Willis. Willis has been relatively quiet. Only five points for Willis. Chichester with the ball for the Chargers. Into the paint. Chichester, his first basket of the game. Chichester averaging double digits, but just now on the scoreboard. Okay, Midland High is passing through that, that press very well. Hard foul, unintentionally hard. Garrett Willis was driving in and ended up being off balance as he goes down on the floor. Looked a little bit worse than what it was. Yeah. yeah. These guys are young. They, they, they snap back. The foul, by the way, on Chichester, and that is the third. So Chichester has to go to the Dow High bench. Early foul trouble has plagued Chichester. Inbound pass will result in a foul. Drew Gandy. Oh. Well, great job on the inbound pass by Kessler. Read that Gandy was coming in, caught the Chargers defense sleeping, and Gandy couldn't get the basket to go, but he will go to the free throw line. But first, Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout before things get out of hand. It's a 10-point Midland High lead with 5.19 to go here in the third quarter. And this is doable. I'm not so sure it's doable with Chichester on the bench, but, you know, he's getting some, some good production from Mitchell and Molinar. Uh, he's given them a total of 16 points uh, in the first half, but uh, uh, Dow High is just not able to generate a good, comfortable offensive flow. Midland High coming into this game one and two. They lost to Saginaw Heritage to start the season. They defeated Mount Bluffin and then they lost to Rockford. Dow High Chargers 0-2 coming into this game. A tough loss to Beaverton to start the season off and then a loss to Mount Bluffin as well. And they played Beaverton up at Beaverton, which uh, must have been a thrill for the Beaverton fans to get a Class A high school to, to come up to their gym. Well, now I'm doubting myself, Tom. Was the uh, Dow Mount Pleasant game, was that a Dow High loss or a Dow High win? I think it was a Dow High loss. 35 to 24, the Midland High Kimmicks with the lead. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Dow High taking a, a couple of dribbles. Working the ball around the perimeter. Isaac Molinar will feed it over to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes takes a couple of dribbles to Jacob Stone. Now feeding back to Molinar. Molinar will go into the paint and Molinar with the buck. No, Molinar calls for a travel. Before the... I don't know if shuffled his feet when he gathered himself. Could be. I don't know. Nonetheless, Travel's going to take the points off the board. 
It remains a Midland High lead halfway through the third quarter. Henry Kepler working the ball for Midland. Now to Al Money. Money keeping the dribble alive to Garrett Willis. Willis with a left-hand shot. No good. Rebound by the Chargers. Siraki will come back the other direction. Feeds it over to the corner. Back up to the top of the key. But Molinar losing the handle on the ball. Coming back the other way is Gandy. And he cannot lay it in. Midland High getting the rebound. Kessler feeds it to Willis. And Willis is hammered underneath. Okay. And Garrett Willis may have, uh, may have hit the floor hard. Did he hit his head? It looked like, but he was the one that got up quicker than uh, the other player. Is that number 11 or 10 that went down? Was it Hayes or was it uh, Oakley? Lever was Hayes. Okay. Shaking the cobwebs out. Well, the basketball, well. And the question is, did uh, you know? Did Garrett Willis, you know, hit his head on the uh, on the floor? Apparently, he's okay. No, uh, no need for the uh, concussion protocol. We already had a long delay in the first half. Don't need one in the second half. And Willis showing no uh, ill effects. He hit that free throw without a problem. Well, I'm sure if there was concern, they would stop the game, but. We've got a lane violation against Midland High. Henry Kepsler uh, jumped the gun. Now he's going to head to the bench as John White comes in. So take away the second free throw. 36 to 24 in favor of the Midland High Kimmicks. We've hit the four minute mark here in the third quarter. Well, this lead has remained about 10, 10 to 12 for quite a while. White's going to be called for a foul. Molinar attempted to drive on the baseline and one of those fouls where he, uh, he didn't mean to, but he did. Yeah, and the, the defense wasn't even close to being set. Dow High inbounding to Hayes, who goes into the paint, can't get the shot to go, put back no good, rebound by Bridges, loses the handle on it, they're going to say Charger basketball. I think it went off of his foot. We'll see if the Chargers can take advantage of the turnover. Chance to inbound the ball underneath their own basket. Top of the key, Nick Siraki working the ball for the Chargers. Now back into the paint, Jacob Stone can't get the shot to go. Stone has had a few looks, but nothing falling Stone's way for the Chargers. Midland High goes inside to Bridges, and we have a foul call. Mark Dickerson thinks that it should be offensive, but that's not uh, not what the official called. They're going to call it against. Uh, John, uh, they're going to call it against. No, they did call. There we go. Now it's on the board. They called it against Jacob Stone, which is his second, the fourth team foul against the uh, Dow High Chargers. Now Chichester is going to enter the game for the Chargers. Chichester playing with three fouls. Well, he gives them that that presence. He's uh, he goes about six five, maybe six six. Midland High Candy working the ball over to White. Chargers trying to put some pressure on the ball handlers, feeding inside to White. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Siraki. Chargers outlet it. But then they'll slow things down. Chichester with the ball, works it back over to Isaac Molinar, feeds inside, and 
to the free throw line. Thomas Oakley will go. Could not get the bucket to fall, but will have a chance on the free throw line, stopping the clock with 2.47 to play here in the third quarter. Boy, this has been uh, like watching uh, paint dry, you know. It, there's just not a lot going on right now. Uh, putting the ball in the basket, and we got a free throw that hits the rim and jumps off. But uh, I mean, I, the offenses are, are moving around. It's just that nobody's getting a good shot. Oakley is a senior on the Stout High Charger team, one of two from the free throw line. 11 point lead for the Kimmicks. The teams exchanged baskets to start the game, but Midland High have been in control. There's a turnover. Dow High coming up with a steal. Nick Siraki, coast to coast, a bucket and the foul. Sometimes you need something to uh, to spark yeah. a little bit. That may be the spark that the Chargers need. That, uh, yeah, Midland High got careless at the half court line. And if that foul's on White, that is the third foul. Actually, that's the fourth foul on John White. So he heads to the bench, and Mason Pilgrim will come back into the game. Three-point play, not good. Soraki missing the free throw, but the deficit has been cut down to single digits. Midland High working. The ball to Gandy, who goes inside to a Trey Childry. Childry feeds it back out to Al Money. Three-pointer by the freshman. The Money ball. Al Money with the three-pointer back to a double-digit lead. Chargers looking to answer the call. Shot by Molinar is no good. And a foul is going to be called against Dow High. Zeitler will pick up the foul during the, uh, the battle for the rebound. That's the first shot that Al Money has taken that he looked really comfortable with. Dow High putting a little pressure on. Kimmick trying to, well, the, the pressure worked. Fourth bridge of the travel. That is the idea of putting on the press and the Chargers benefit. Well, Bridges shows some uh, guard finesse, but uh, I just don't think he should be the one bringing the ball up the court. But uh, that's up to the coach. Feitler with the ball for the Chargers, and now we're going to have an offensive foul called away from the ball. They're going to call Thomas Oakley. And I'm not sure if that was just an offensive foul or a moving screen or what it was, but it gives the ball back to the Midland High Kimmicks. 145 to go here in the third quarter. Nice job by Pilgrim of uh, keeping his foot on the floor. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, don't drag the pivot foot. Dow High bringing up their defense a little bit, putting some pressure on the Kimmick. Gandy working the ball over. Jump shot taken by Money. In and out. And Midland High able to get the rebound. And a block underneath. Molinar coming up with the block. Chargers come back the other direction. Oakley will be fouled. And Oakley will go to the, excuse me, yes, Oakley will go to the free throw line. Well, we still have a 12-point deficit uh, between Dow and uh, Midland. But it's gotten more exciting. I mean, we've got a lot more action. Well, you're right. We have definitely hovered right around that uh, that point score-wise. As Oakley hits the free throw. Second shot is good as well. Garrett Willis is now going to check back in the game. Willis has seen limited action for the Midland High Kimmicks. 10-point lead for Midland. Full court press put on by the Chargers. Midland able to beat it down court, and Willis lays it in. Now we saw the press work a few moments ago. That time it did not, and Garrett Willis benefits from it. 12-point lead. Chargers, three-pointer. Molinar in and out, no good. Rebound by Midland High's Mason Pilgrim. 
Well, the press is always a gamble, and uh, once you start to break the press, uh, good things happen. Into the paint, no foul, no bucket, out of bounds. Now waiting to find out who, who it's going to be. It's going to stay Midland High basketball. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Not sure uh, the Charger faithful agreed that it was Midland High basketball, but nonetheless. Isaiah Bridges working the ball over to Gandy. Tried to go inside and knocked out by the Chargers. Thirty-four seconds on the clock in the inbound pass stolen away. Isaac Molinar lays it in. The steal, the bucket, and then a late foul called as Gandy landed on top. And now let's find out uh, if they're going to call that after the bucket or not. I, I think they're going to call it as part of the shot. No, they're going to call it on the floor. That's the right call. It was on the floor after the shot, but the foul is going to be against Gandy, which is his third, plus Dow High will get the basketball. So that actually benefited the Chargers by having the, the foul called on the floor after Molinar's yeah. basket, which was the right call. Oh, it was. It was. 15 seconds. Molinar fires again. Rebound pulled down by Soraki. And did he step out of bounds? He, I believe he did. Or did he, was he fouled? I think he stepped out. Stepped out while Midland had control of the ball. So the Chargers will inbound 12 seconds to go. Okay. We're in the third quarter. Inbound pass fed back to Seitler. Three pointer. Shot is no good. Rebound brought down by Soraki and then stolen away by Money. Five seconds to go. Midland with the ball. Bridges working the baseline. Ball goes out of bounds as the third quarter comes to an end. An explosive end wow. to, the, uh, to the third quarter here tonight. And the Midland High Chemics go into the final eight minutes of this game with a 41 to 31 lead over the over the Dow High Chargers. Well, that, that was exciting, you know, and uh, we've got uh, still another quarter left. And Dow, uh, you know, he, uh, pushed in the, uh, the deficit a little bit. They're only down by 10. Uh, if you get to Chichester and Molinar and uh, a couple of other people, uh, Mitchell, uh, to start hitting some shots in this fourth quarter, th this could get really, really exciting. Mark Dickerson talking to the Dow High Chargers. If you are just tuning in and you want to watch this game in its entirety, it will be shown this weekend, Wednesday, December 20th, Thursday, December 21st, Friday, December 22nd. Showtime, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night. It will be followed by girls basketball, the Kimmicks and the Chargers. And also during the entire holiday season, you'll have a chance to uh, catch replays of both uh, boys and girls basketball along with the ice hockey from uh, earlier this month. Speaking of the holidays, Tom did not ha have a chance to uh, to wish you and Jean a, a Merry Christmas. Well, th th thank you, and uh, we 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 wish you and Holly a Merry Christmas. You're staying in town? We are. Okay. We are. So are we. No, no big plan for the holidays. Catching up on all the uh, TV shows currently on my DVR. <laughs> that, is, that is the holiday plan. Well, Bridges was scoreless in that quarter. He still has that 17. Driving in is Molinar. He's having a great game for the Dow High Chargers. He's now in double digits. Molinar's got 13 points. Dow High's trying to cut down into this lead, and now we've got a foul called against the Chargers. I think right now we're seeing more energy with, with the Chargers. I think uh, they're seeing that uh, this is a hill they can climb. Jacob Stone called with his third foul. Chargers have a couple of players in foul trouble. Chai Chester's in foul trouble. Soraki and now Stone. And Midland High already in the bonus for this entire fourth quarter. 
and that benefits Midland as Drew Gandy able to get the uh, the free throw to fall in. Gandy was one of uh, several players that were battling in the preseason for that fifth starting job and came away with it. One of two on the free throw line. Chargers, then Feitler. Working the uh, basketball for Dow High. Now works it over to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes with a bounce pass to Jacob Stone. Now a three-pointer by Chichester. Does not fall through. Battle for the rebound. One by Midland High. Al Money will feed it to Garrett Willis, and Willis will be fouled. They're going to call it on the floor. But it will be a one-in-one -one situation. That may be on Chichester. It is not. It is not, okay. They're, they're gonna get uh, Molinar, which is only the first one for Molinar. One and one on the free throw line and no good, but Bridges will pull down the rebound. Money thought about the shot. Now we'll work it back out over to Bridges, feeds it back over to Money. Midland High has the lead. We're in the fourth quarter of boys basketball here on MPS TV. Looking inside the Willis, hook shot, no good. Rebound by Mitchell Hayes, who played very well in the first half for the Chargers. Well, he's come close. And then the Chargers just turn the ball over. On fourth turnovers. And Oakley will check into the game. Well, as times like this, you look for that natural leader. And uh, I'm not sure if Mark Dickerson has really selected someone on his team as kind of the quarterback. But uh, they really need someone to kind of pull the troops together. Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. 6.39 to play here in the fourth quarter. 42 to 33 in favor of the Midland High Kimmix. And while we do have a uh, moment, we do want to uh, send our best wishes to uh, MCDV staff member Billy. He is uh, recovering after uh, having some surgery done. So we definitely wish him the best over this holiday season. He's been uh, out of commission for quite some time, and we, we need him back in the fold. Yeah, we, we, he, we miss Billy being around. He is such a trooper. I mean, he, he is a joy to have around. I mean, he's funny. He's uh, he, he loves doing this stuff. And, uh, we, and he's we got miss some him. great stories to tell. Oh, my gosh, yes. Just, and, just. and not a lot of them that we could tell right now. <laughs> 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 Well, here we go. We've got the uh, the final six and a half minutes of this contest, and you know Midland High still sticking right around you know 10, 11, 12 yep. points. That's just kind of been where where this game's been hovering. In. Yeah. And uh, Midland High can't shake them, and Dow is just uh, playing really, really aggressive defense and getting their hand in passing lanes and uh, flicking the ball away. Kemmicks have two timeouts left. Chargers still have four, but right now it's a bonus situation. So Midland will go to the free throw line from here on out. Chargers have got three players, including Chichester, in foul trouble. Midland feeds it inside to Bridges, back out to Money. Money will go inside to Willis, and Willis with a nice spin move. And you saw there Chichester had to give Willis the lane because he couldn't afford a foul. And that's a big advantage right now. 11 point Midland High lead. Feitler working the ball to Molinar. Molinar fires up, can't get the shot to go. Willis will get the rebound pulled down. In the first half, that shot was dropping for Molinar. Nearly stolen away. Willis tried to feed it to Bridges, but instead gave it to Feitler. Miscommunications on that. Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Feitler. 
Chichester will try again. Three-pointer no good. Bridges this time with the rebound for Midland. Chichester has been limited in scoring and has been limited in defense as well due to having foul trouble. Trying to feed the ball and does Al Money now working over to Bridges. Well, they're, they're burning off a little clock right now, which isn't a bad strategy. Shot doesn't go and uh, battle for the rebound. They're going to call Willis, who does not agree with it at all. Eric Krauss doesn't agree with it either. Krauss right in the face of the official. Nonetheless, the foul on Garrett Willis, only the second one. Krauss did a nice job of uh, getting Willis away, so he didn't get teed up, but I wasn't sure that, uh, you know, Krauss wasn't in danger territory either. No, he wasn't. In fact, uh, I, I wasn't sure what Krauss was, was saying. Just got to make sure you don't look like you're showing up the ref. 4.45 on the clock. Millen High leading by 11, and a nice drive there. Ben Feitler able to get the bucket to fall through. Cuts the deficit down a single digit and nearly stole the ball away, but it's going to be Midland High basketball. This is the non-conference matchup. These two teams will meet in the February at Dow High. As a foul called against the Chargers will result in a one and one situation. So Isaiah Bridges will go to the free throw line. Well, I would guess that with Martin Money being out, that has given his brother Al Money a little more playing time right now, which ultimately is going to help the entire team. That foul on Nick Siraki, the fourth one on Siraki. First half of the one and one is no good. Battle for the rebound on the ground. Midland High comes away with it. Midland High will go to John White. Back out to Money. Now Midland High will work it to Pilgrim and Kimmick keeping possession of the basketball. Chargers have, you know, tried, have, well, the Chargers have kept Midland around that 10 point mark, but they've been unable to get any closer. Yeah. And now they're battling time and foul trouble. Pilgrim feeds in, counts the bucket. Nice drive. Good drive by Mason Pilgrim. The lead goes back up to 11. 3.35 to go here in the fourth quarter. Chargers on the far side, feeding it to Zeitler. Zeitler's shot may have been partially blocked out of bounds. Midland High basketball. And a couple of uh, substitutions. Chichester is going to check back into the game. Molinar is going to check back into the game as well. Well, right now, Chichester has three fouls. He, uh, he can really body up to... Uh, just about anybody right now and not have to worry. And we're at a point in the game now that you can pick up your fourth without any problem. Oh, definitely. Bridges, no, may have been partially blocked by Stone. Back the other way, Soraki can't get the bucket to go. Put back is no good. Second attempt, third attempt, and a foul's going to be called. They're going to send the Chargers to the free throw line. Now that's going to be... Pilgrim. Zach Chichester will go to the free throw line. So all those count as offensive rebounds, right? They do. <laughs> At least three, maybe four of them. I think so. Chichester getting the free throw to fall. Well, you mentioned as one of your keys to the game earlier, Tom, that Chichester had to have a big game. Yeah, I, I think not. I said 20. You know, but uh, just a big game, and he, he really hasn't. We've got a timeout after Chichester hits both of his free throws. Still Three. Lo long from over. We are a nine-point deficit. Dow High calling a timeout. This is definitely still 
is, you know, a game that, you know, you know the Midland High and Eric Krause, who we see in our screen right now, you know he's not comfortable with a, uh, with a nine-point lead. Right, and I think he's going to work some sort of a patterned uh, offense to try to burn some time a bit uh, uh, because, you know, the clock is in their favor and Dow is just going to have to foul. But uh, Dow is going to try to step into passing lanes, and, and Eric's got to make sure that he's got his best passing unit on the court. Now the Midland High Chemics will be shooting two free throws from here on out. There's a great look at Eric Krause, the veteran coach of the Midland High Chemics. And you wonder how many of those hairs would have been brown if he hadn't been coaching. <laughs> yeah, goes with the territory. I don't think that uh, Krauss would trade any of those gray hairs. Oh, no, no. He wears them like badges. Chargers putting the press onto um, the Midland High Kimmick. Midland High gets across midcourt, but then Money loses the ball. Chichester coming up with a steal. Chichester pulls up from the elbow, counts the bucket. Chichester with the basket, and now another steal, and the putback is no good. Great oh. steal by Siraki, could not get the bucket to fall, and Midland will have the ball out of bounds. That was almost a huge shift of momentum. Whoa, talk about a game changer. 2.51 to go, 46 to 39, but it was almost, had Siraki made that bucket, we're talking a five point game. Yeah. As it is, the Chargers within seven, they're still showing the press. Garrett Willis looking to beat the press down court and does. Midland High looking to slow down the tempo. Chargers really can't foul, and they did anyway. Yeah. Away from the ball, more or less. Molinar picking up the foul, and that will put Bridges on the free throw line. I think that would be classified as a tic-tac foul. You know, he really wasn't taking Bridges out of any offensive opportunity. I agree. But Bridges will try to take advantage of it. That's the first that, point that, of the second that's half. That's what I thought. Yeah. 18 total. Bridges had an unbelievable first half. He hits both of those free throws to put the lead back up to nine. Two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Chargers lost the handle on the ball, able to recover. Chichester, three pointer, count it. Had Willis in his face, but Zach Chichester able to hit the three, and the Chargers immediately call a timeout. 2.20 to go. Midland High's lead is down to six points. It took about 30 minutes of the game for Chichester to really get, catch his stroke. And, uh, you know, sometimes you need that, that basket to create the confidence. Well, and now the question comes in, if you take a look at the, uh, the Dow High cheerleaders, is, does Dow High have enough time to mount a comeback? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, Midland, though, if they can work the ball and get to the free throw line, then maybe not. But, but if they exchange threes for twos, you know, you, you, you're going to dig into it. Now both teams are in the bonus. Midland is in the double bonus. Both teams have two timeouts left. We've got 2.15 to go. Midland High leading by six, and the Kimex lose the handle on the ball. Chargers coming up with a steal. Molinar will lay it in. It's a four-point game. Two minutes to go. The press of Dow High has been effective here tonight. Kimmich break it this time around and almost stolen away again. Chargers have got a little bit of energy and the Kimmichs have been relatively quiet this fourth quarter. And if Dow goes down and hits a three, it's going to be definite. 
From the baseline, Bridges unable to get the shot to go. Rebound by Zeitler. Zeitler pulling up on the ball with 1.40 to go. We'll work it around now to Molinar. Molinar's played great basketball for the Chargers. Nearly stolen, knocked out, out of bounds. It'll be down high basketball. Well, we've got Bridges, who is guarding a Chichester at the point. Uh, I think that with Bridges' height, that's going to be a little more of an advantage than somebody else on Chichester. So Rocky will inbound the ball. 90 seconds to go. It's Midland High 48, Dow High 44. Long three-pointer by Feitler. Count it. Ben Feitler hits the three. And a, and a foul called near mid-court on Soraki. One-point game and no reason at all to foul at mid-court and send Midland High to the free-throw line. Well, I think that was just an emotional foul. He caught up in the moment and uh, had lost his player up the sideline. Now the Charger fans are coming alive. At one time, Dow High was down by 12. Now the deficit yeah. is just one with 1.20 to go. And both free throws are missed. Chargers with a chance to take the lead for the first time since the opening minute. But the ball stolen away by Kessler. Bridges with the basketball. Nice spin move there. The Kimmich working the ball back to Bridges. Now to the top of the key. They work it around to Gandy. One minute to play. Midland High leading by one. And Midland, you've got the lead. They're going to have to foul. Bridges will go inside. Garrett Willis with the ball. 45 seconds to play. At what point do you foul if you're the Chargers? Willis had the ball knocked away from behind. Recovered by Bridges. Bridges unable to get the bucket. But he will have two free throws. 36 seconds left on the clock. These are big. And Dow is going to come down. Look at uh, the three-point shot. Uh, that'll tie it even if uh, Bridges makes these two. The foul called on Jacob Stone, which is his fourth. And Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout. Well, the Dow High Chargers win or lose. A great come from behind effort. The Midland High Kimmich. They've got to come up with a way to maybe hit a couple of free throws and secure a win. They have watched a 12-point lead all but evaporate. And so much of it was the full court press. They just lost their poise uh, you know, going against the full court press that Dow had. And uh, D Dow was going for risks. And when that happens, you get a deflected pass, and you've got your own basket real close. And the reset, Midland High 48, Dow High 47. The Chargers have one timeout remaining. Midland High has two. Both teams are in the bonus. The Kimmicks are in the double bonus. Now the student sections are getting into it as well. That's the fun of high school sports. Okay, these are big free throws. He gets two. Double bonus. Isaiah Bridges. Misses the first one. Kimmicks have gone cold on the free throw line the last two minutes of this game. 36 seconds remain. Kimmicks leading by one. Now they lead by two. But the Chargers have the chance to take the lead or to tie it up. Charging in, feeding it over at the last second, but we've got a whistle before the shot. Offensive foul called against the Chargers. It was. That's a good call. That is a huge call. 
take away the game-tying basket. The charge going against the Chargers will give Midland High the basketball. The foul called on Feitler. 29 seconds to play. Remains a two-point lead. That was the right call. It really was. Well, Mark Dickerson's a very mild-mannered individual, and he got an explanation, but he, he did not really you know, lose his school, so that would tend to make you think that maybe that call was correct. Chargers with the press and a travel pulled against Midland. A huge call there will give the ball back to the Chargers with 26 seconds to go. Wow. I would have maybe called a jump ball before a travel on that. I mean, there was the ball was contested for a brief moment. And again, the Chargers with a chance to tie or to take the lead. They inbound the ball. Molinar, spin shot, can't get the bucket to fall. Rebound by Stone, put back is good. Tied up, 15 seconds to go. Midland with a chance to win it at the buzzer. 10 seconds to go, and oh, a timeout is going to be called. <laughs> Eric Krause okay. will get the timeout. 12 seconds to play in a tied up ball game. Now this is fun. You know, you just don't know what kind of an advantage Midland High had to drive to the basket at that moment. But it, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, the, the coach wants the best play at the end. Now this is what high school basketball is all about. And we are now down to the final second. Each team does have one timeout. All tied up, both teams in the bonus, Midland in the double bonus. Now this puts some pressure on the officials too. Well, they know. made some big calls, that charge, that travel, both, both of those are you know, huge calls. These are great, yeah. this is a great officiating crew. They've done a nice job. When you don't notice them, they've done a nice job. And they've had a couple of, you know, big calls, and that will happen when you have a emotionally filled game. Now, will Dow, well, Dow doesn't even have to foul. The game's tied. But will there be a foul under three seconds to go? That's a question. Will we have a last second win? Will we have overtime? Clock down to seven, six. Midland High playing for the last shot. They're well away from the from the basket. Bridges, one. Bridges fires up a three-pointer. No good, and we are headed into OT. Bonus basketball. And really, with the defense played there by the Dow High Chargers, Bridges got hit on that last shot. Bridges may have uh, may have ended up with a bloody nose or a bloody lip after that last shot. Oh. Now that would have been interesting if they had called something on that, but I think the officials don't want something like that to finish a game like this. Now the first of two meetings between the Kimmicks and the Chargers and the Chargers making things interesting towards the end and we are headed into overtime. Overtime is four minutes long in high school basketball. 49 to 49 to get Jason Upper, Tom Bell here for uh, the MCTV crew. And, uh, you know, a long night getting longer. But, you know, when, when you have a, a come from behind effort like the Dow High Chargers, and now you've got the, you know, the battle of the coaches, and you got the battle on the players, and you've got all this excitement, I guess I'll take a little OT. Sure. I mean, it's, it's going to take that to decide who wins this game. I mean, Dow High's energy far exceeded Midland High's in the fourth quarter. And that helped them get back into the game. Now the Chargers a little disappointed in their start on the season. I think things may be beginning to click. That press worked really nice for Dow High. Meanwhile, the Midland High Kimmicks had a 12-point lead, but just could not, you know, miss free throws during that fourth quarter really make it a difference in the contest. So here we go. Fourth quarter off and running. The Kimmicks have two timeouts. The Chargers, I believe, will also have two timeouts. Each team getting an additional timeout in overtime. 
You know, one player I've been really pleased with is this Stone. He's, well, he's really played well. He had the game tying basket. Chargers could not score on that last trip down. Midland High working the ball around. Drew Gandy has the ball stolen away. Chargers coming up with the steal. Now working back the other direction. And Ben Feitler's shot ends up being blocked by the Kimmick. Nice block by Isaiah Bridges. He kept the ball in play. Three minutes to go. We are in overtime. Bridges working the ball, going inside to Garrett Willis. Willis had all kinds of players around, and one of them got Willis. I thought it was clean for, for a second, but the foul is going to be called on Jacob Stone, and that is the fifth foul on Stone, who fouls out of the game. Jacob Stone had the game-tying basket for the yeah. Dow High Chargers, but... He, he hasn't been flashy, but he's been steady. But he is now headed to the, nice uh, game. the bench. Thomas Oakley will come into the game. Garrett Willis is on the free throw line for the Kimmich. The Kimmich have gone ice cold from the free throw line for the fourth quarter and for overtime. You know, it's a matter of confidence at the free throw line. You got to kind of compose yourself, clear your mind, and drop it in. Both free throws missed. We remain tied. Just under three minutes to go in overtime. Chargers have not led since the opening minute, and now a travel call against Feitler. He tried to hold that pivot foot, just could not hold on to it. I think you can credit Kraus on that one, because I don't think he was going to call it. And I think he heard Kraus from behind him. Al Money. Working the ball to a wide open Pilgrim. Pilgrim now to Garrett Willis. Three pointer, no good. Rebound by Nick Siraki. Two and a half minutes to go. Feitler feeding the ball to Chichester. Chichester will give it back. Siraki, three pointer, no good. Chichester with the rebound. Actually, that's Feitler with the uh, three point attempt. Now Feitler will feed it over to Siraki and blocked by Willis. <laughs> High school basketball, isn't it great? Now the student sections are into it. A come from behind effort by Dow. That may possibly lead to a come from behind win if uh, Midland High does not uh, persevere, but a foul called against Midland High will send the Chargers to the free throw line. That foul called on Pilgrim, which is his second. You know, Midland hasn't scored much since the end of the third quarter. And for the first time since the opening two minutes of the game, the Dow High Chargers have the lead as Zach Chichester hits the free throw and Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. 2.13 to go in the contest. For Midland, I bet this has got to be mind-boggling that they had the game pretty much in hand. I mean, we could see a way that uh, Dow could get back into the game. But uh, for Dow fans, oh my gosh, this is like, uh, you know, new life. It's got to be exciting for them. Well, it's something that, you know, can, can also spark your season. As we mentioned a couple of times, the Dow High Chargers not off to the best start. You know, not playing as good of basketball as Mark Dickerson feels that they could play. 
tonight we saw that you know the Chargers were down by 12 at one point, tied it up towards the end of regulation. They've got a one-point lead here in overtime. Dickerson, win or lose, has got to be very pleased with the effort that he is seeing from the Chargers. And the life of your practices the day after a, a game like this, if they should happen to win, it's got to be powerful. It's a one-point Dow High lead, 2-13 to play. Both teams are in the bonus. Midland in the double bonus. Dow two fouls away from a double bonus. Chargers have two timeouts. Midland has one timeout left. Zach Chichester was quiet in the first half. He's got 11 points all in the second half for the Dow High Chargers. Dow by two. Midland across midcourt. Going inside a bridge if they throw the ball away. And now we're going to see Midland pressing because they're the ones that have got to get uh, back into the game. Across midcourt goes the Charger. Feitler able to break free, working over to Soraki. Soraki's got the ball, 1.45 to go, and we're going to have a foul called against Garrett Willis. Oh. Ways away from the basket. We saw a few of those, uh, you know, fouls that. And it will end up sending Nick Soraki to the free throw line, shooting one and one. John White will check into the game. Garrett Willis heads to the bench. Three fouls on Willis. Nick Soraki, junior on this Dow High Charger team. Hits the first free throw. Something that the Kimmich struggled with late in the game was hitting free throws. However, Dow High not having that problem. They have hit their free throws here in overtime. Yeah, Midland, they hit the, the front end of the, uh, the basket on a lot of short shots and didn't hit free throws. Chargers, all four of their overtime points coming from the free throw line. 53 to 49. Dow with the lead, 135 to go. White loses the handle on the ball underneath. Charger basketball. And again, the Chemex pressing, 135 to go here in overtime. Seitler with the ball. Wide open underneath. Great hesitation. And the foul will send Thomas Oakley to the free throw line. A good move by Oakley. The foul called on Bridges, which is the third on him. Baffling. I, there's no other word for it. Midland High just has not played well offensively when they could have put the game away. And the Chargers taking advantage of the free throws. Both teams are now in the double bonus. Oakley, a senior that comes off the bench for the Chargers. And Dow High, that's the first free throw missed for the Chargers. Had the rebound briefly. Out of bounds. No, they're going to call a foul against the Kimmich. And that will put the Chargers back on the free throw line. A pushing foul against Pilgrim. That's the third one against Pilgrim. And now Isaac Molinar is on the free throw line shooting two. And Molinar's got a good stroke. And he gets the bucket to fall. He's had a great game, a big first half. 16 points total. And I'm not sure they expected this from him, but... And they're going to wave off the second one. Molinar jumped across the free throw line a little bit too quick. So the second one is no good. However, the Dow High Chargers have a lead 55 to 49 with 120 to go. The Kimmicks have not scored in overtime. Al Money, three pointer, no good. Battle for the rebound, won by the Kimmicks. Bridges, three pointer, count it. Isaiah Bridges hitting the three, but the Chargers quickly inbounding the ball. 
Three-point game, a minute to go in OT. Boy, that was a long time coming. Zeitler feeding the ball over. Now it's Molinar to Chichester to Zeitler. Mark Dickerson is going to use a timeout. 49 seconds on the clock. Dow High leading by three. Chargers have the basketball. Uh, it's beyond words right now. You know, Dow is playing so well, and, you know, I would have given Midland High the, the win at the end of the third quarter, but uh, they have not earned it uh, since then. But that shot by Bridges maybe has, hopefully has infused something in Midland High to make this competitive towards the end. But There's a great shot of Mark Dickerson, his counterpart, and friend along the way, Eric Krause. Krause mentored Dickerson for several years here at Midland High. But it's been Dow High's or Mark Dickerson's press that has been the difference. And Dow High continues to press even with the lead because it's so effective. 49 seconds on the clock. Both teams are in the double bonus. Both teams have one timeout left. Chargers at one point were down by 12. Now they have a three-point lead here in OT. The inbound goes to Zeitler. Inside of Chichester. Chichester can't get the shot to go. Rebound pulled down by Midland. Gandy down the court. Gandy with a spin move but can't get the bucket to fall. Rebound pulled up by Midland. That shot doesn't go. They're going to call a foul against Willis. And that will put the Chargers back on the free throw line. Kimmich had a chance to pull within one. Could not convert, and with 31 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. And you know, the, the Chemex could have just drawn a foul on the shot. You know, you didn't need anything real fancy there. Just drawn a foul, got to the line, clock stopped, put you in a position for the next possession. And Molinar. Hitting the shot makes this a two-possession game with 31 seconds to go. Molinar hits the second free throw as well. 57-52. Chargers by five, 30 seconds to go. Kimmich down court quickly. Al Money feeding it over to Henry Kessler. Kessler three-pointer no good. Money with the rebound. They pull it out. They don't need a three, but they attempt one there. Shot is no good. Battle and a kick ball. It's going to stay Midland High basketball, but we're down to 13 seconds. And Eric Kraus, I thought maybe Kraus was going to call a timeout. He's not. I think after a basket, he's going to try to call a timeout. Sometimes it helps to let the official know because he's looking at it. 13 seconds to go. It's a two-possession game. Kimmich need to score quickly. Money has the ball deflected away. Oh, right back. Bridges, three-pointer. In and out. No good. Rebound by Soraki. And a foul called with three seconds to go. And the Chargers have all but sealed a very impressive come-from-behind win. Yeah, I think you basically can call this one in. Yeah, the Chargers have really earned this win in this fourth quarter and bonus basketball. Garrett Willis has fouled out for the Midland High Kimmicks. This, I think, has been a mild upset. Not a huge one, but a mild upset. Well, Krause was happy with Midland's performance in a loss against Rockford. I don't think he's going to feel the same way tonight. No, no. Uh, didn't play against Dow's pressure real well. Uh, they really just lo lost their touch towards the basket. Nick Siraki on the free throw line. 
able to get the second free throw to go. Midland picking up the ball, but they're two possession game. They don't have much time to work, and the game will come to an end with the Dow High Chargers coming from behind. The cheerleaders celebrate, the student section to celebrate, the Dow High Chargers picking up a big win here tonight, coming from behind, forcing OT, and then dominating overtime from the free throw line. And the Dow High Chargers coming away with a 58-52 to win. If you're Mark Dickerson, if you're the Dow High Chargers, you did a tremendous job. You didn't get down when you were down by double digits. You kept fighting back. Back. The press worked tremendously, and now yeah. it's early in the season. You've got something to build on. Oh, yeah, and uh, like I said, that when you've got a team that's uh, been struggling to win, your practices lack pizzazz, lack crispness. But this is going to give them that, that impetus into the holiday season that's uh, really going to ignite them. On the, other, on the other side, the Midland High Chemics, obviously they're going to be disappointed because from the start of the fourth quarter on, nothing went the way Midland High wanted it to do. They just saw Dow High getting closer and closer and closer and eventually coming away with the, the victory. Well, they talk about the, the choke collar, you know, and that kind of happened. Uh, uh, Midland High just could not break the press cleanly, and uh, they gave Dow uh, other opportunities over and over and over again. Give, give Dow credit. They really earned this. And for, for Midland High, they've got a lot of material to uh, take care of in practice. Yeah, Molinar had a great game for the Chargers. Stone had a great game in the second half. Chichester, who was scoreless in the first half, came in the second half, and he finished, I believe, maybe 15 points in, in, in the contest. So it, it was uh, the Dow High Chargers definitely had a big second half that they used to their, moment, to their favor. In yes. a couple of moments, you are going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of those individuals, be sure to stop. Thank them for putting high school sports on the air here on MPS TV and on MCTV. On behalf of the entire staff and volunteer crew at MCTV, we wish you a very happy holiday season. We will be back in 2018 high school wrestling along with more basketball and hockey coming your way in the new year. For Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score here tonight in overtime, the Dow High Chargers 58, the Midland High Chemics 52 tonight.